Good evening. Bursts of color, flashing lights and music spread throughout the greater Cincinnati area. Blink Cincinnati is finally here, the nation's largest light and art festival. We have a live team coverage tonight to show you the highlights and local 12 anchor Kyle Inskeep is live, my friend at Washington Park. It's so pretty out there. Oh my gosh, Paula, it is absolutely a spectacle out here in Washington Park tonight. Just uh, a little less than an hour left for night one of Blink. No worries, though, if you didn't make it out here tonight, you still have tomorrow, Saturday, and then Sunday to come out here and experience all the sights and sounds of this incredible festival. So as you mentioned, we are here live tonight in Washington Park. This is part of the OTR zone. So Blink is divided up into six different zones. We have the Finley Market. Market zone. We have the OTR zone. Again, that's where we are here tonight. We have the downtown zone. We have the bank zone. And then we have the Newport and Covington zones as well. So all of these zones have different installations, but it's a way for them to organize things. We're going to kick off our live team coverage tonight going down to the bank zones. That's where we find Local 12's Paige Barnes. That's also where the parade was this evening, Paige. It's always an amazing parade. Lots of really cool floats and people walking. So I'm sure you're going to show it to us all all right now. Yeah, Kyle, sorry, I was a little distracted looking for the Mystic Eye drone show. Hundreds of drones are expected to light up the night sky over the Ohio River. It is a nightly event, all four nights, right? One at eight as well as 10. I want to step out. Oh, there it is. They are making circles and swirls. Honestly, all of the, the drones tonight have been an abstract shape, but look how cool at that. And you know what else started at eight? The Blink Parade with over 3,000 participants. Everyone decked out in their glow attire from light up butterfly wings to light up musical instruments. Thousands of people lined the streets along Maring Way going toward Great American Ballpark. Now the banks where I'm at right now has three big installations to check out. The first one is Stargate. It's a 12 foot immersive square and it's a portal into a celestial realm. You can get up close and personal to it and listen to music. Next, take a look at the Hoko House. It is an entirely upcycled work of art. The outside is made of potato chip bags and inside are fiber optic lights. It's also another piece that you can touch. And lastly, take a rest under the Paraluna. It is a 12 or 28 foot diameter spinning disc. Lights are projected onto it along with classical music playing in the background. It's mesmerizing. It's beautiful. It's re relaxing. It's, I don't know. It's a lot. And I think the drone show is also really cool. Aside from projection mapping, I'm also a fashion designer. I made this entire look. Um, I sold this LED strip on the pants and I have a battery to light it up. As you can see from the footage, there are lots of light up clothes. Um, I also grabbed a flag that is made from upcycled reflective material. Pretty cool. And I'm just going to stand here and watch the drone show. But for now, I want to toss it back to Kyle and Tyler at Washington Park. All right, Paige, thank you so much. The drone show is always one of the highlights of Blink. Music Hall, Tyler, also a highlight of Blink. This is your first Blink. What do you think so far? I'm so blown away. Just really getting to spend the whole day down here seeing all the different displays. Truly blown away. But we're, oh. we're in the middle of one of the displays right now. Yes. We've got to talk about Music Hall. We got to. Really we got to. To see this historic building in a different way. Oh, it's awesome to see it like this. So four artists put together. They call it the Music Hall experience. It truly is an experience yeah. for different artists putting together four different displays. They've been rotating them kind of like a gallery, and this park has been full the entire night, all night. with people taking in this show just the many times we've seen all four different shows yeah. in front of music hall. It's been beautiful. Awesome, incredible. Uh, what's been your highlight so far? So, I think the biggest highlight has been kind of just seeing everybody come together and see there really truly has been something for everybody at this show. And we talked to some folks that were in the crowd out here. They were blinking. They had all their stuff light up, really going along with the show. All right, Tyler Madden, thank you so much, my friend. We're beginning a blink on this Thursday evening. More to come. That was fantastic. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Blink is on. Blink is on for 2024. Look how beautiful that is. Look how many people brought out. Look at the people brought out. And look how we blinking right along with the program. Now, another spot we hit was a mural on West Court Street near Race. It was a tribute to classic toys. The light show brings the toys to life. Everything from Star Wars, Yoda, R2-D2, C-3PO, 
Care Bears and Mr. Potato Head and Kyle was just so awesome to see something, as we said before, just everything for the entire family from Music Hall even down to where we were at that uh, showing off all, all of our favorite toys. Exactly. There really is something for each and every person out here at Blick. I think that's why people love it so much is because it's something you can bring the entire family to no matter the age. Absolutely. we got three more days of it, too. We're just getting started. Oh, my started. gosh. Get ready. Get the walking shoes out. That is the key. You're going to do a lot of walking, so do wear some good footwear. All right, so Tyler was showing us here in the OTR zone. We want to take you over to Finley Market for a bit uh, and give you a look at what was happening over there. Something that caught my eye when I was in that area uh, was we had a DJ out there. Lots of people enjoying the music from the DJ there. Uh, an installation included some bubbles. That was a big hit for a lot of the little Blink folks that were out and about tonight. We also had some street performers that people were standing by, taking lots of videos and pictures with those uh, performers as well. We should note there were some, a few issues with some of the projectors in that Finley Market area early tonight, uh, but by the end of the night, right now, things are up and moving, and no one was really disappointed by that. You know, first night kinks, they were working all of that stuff out. So then we moved just a bit up the street from there, near Liberty and Elm Streets, and we saw uh, some more substantial crowds, much larger crowds in this area. A lot of beautiful projections. That's what Blink is known for so you knew that you were going to see that in that area something i did not expect to see though was a skate park there was 20 or 30 skateboarders out there uh, enjoying themselves having a good time lots of people were stopping to cheer them on of course in this era everyone's taking video taking photos uh, to post to social media uh, but it was just really cool to see uh, the skateboarders out there a lot of the installations or i shouldn't say a lot of them but some of the installations uh, you've seen repeated year after year but I have never seen anything, Paula, with the skateboarders. Uh, so that was probably one of the highlights for me. Always looking to see what people are wearing. You were down here with me uh, earlier this evening taking in some of the sights and the sounds. And we were amazed by some of the Blink fashion. We saw a lady with uh, what we believe was a faux fur coat that was lighting up. I saw another lady out here. After you had gone back to the station, she had a full sequin jumpsuit on. And she had some little disco ball yeah. earrings. So this is one of those events you want to be comfortable, but you also want to make a statement, okay? You got to make a statement when you're out here, too. You do. It's okay to be over the top tonight. I had a friend just texting me someone's high heels she saw that were all black and white and fancy. I mean, just the people watching is as good as the installation watching tonight. 